Screencastify is a great tool to use to record your screen or from your webcam. Let's show you how to use it. In Google Chrome, I'm signed in. I can see the Screencastify icon, a little black film strip. It's going to walk me through the setup process, first setting up my camera access so I can record from my webcam. Click Allow when it asks you to. It's going to ask me where I want to store my stuff, and of course I'm going to say Google Drive. We want to try and keep ourselves in the cloud here, and then I'm going to sign in to my particular Google account, uh, clicking on my school one for these purposes here. Once I do that, anytime I click on that Screencastify icon inside of Chrome, I'm going to get some recording options. The first is to record your tab, which just means one tab within Google Chrome is recorded. The next is your desktop, which means any application. And the last is your camera, your webcam. And that's what we're going to focus on this time. So choose the camera that you want to record from. And I'm going to choose my built-in webcam here on my laptop. Remember that your Chromebooks and most of our all-in-one PCs have built-in webcams. Click on the button that says Show Preview Window, because that's going to let you see what you're actually recording, which is very helpful. Once you click Record Webcam, you'll see your preview window. And you can see me there acting like a complete idiot. So I'm going to let that guy record just for a few seconds so we have some content to work with, and then click Stop. That's going to save that automatically to my Google Drive. And it's going to give me some other options here in this preview window. The one we're going to focus on now is how to share it. And of course, we can download this if we wanted to right to our computers. But we're going to focus on sharing because there's more options there. Click on the Share icon, and you'll see this window. Screencastify allows you to share your videos directly to YouTube, right to your YouTube channel, just by clicking on the button next to YouTube and then selecting your channel from the channel dropdown. Now, you're able to set the privacy settings on those videos. You can choose public, unlisted, or private. If you're looking to share the link, though, you're going to go unlisted or public. So in this case, I want to show you that even if I choose private and click on Get Link for Shareable Link, it's going to make it unlisted by default because, of course, I'm looking to share it, so it can't be private in that way. If I want to share it out, I click on the Copy Link button, and I can also share this directly to Google Classroom right from here as well. So now that I've shared this video to my YouTube channel, I can find it by going to YouTube.com, clicking on My Channel, and then looking in the Video Manager, and there I see that little eight-second video that I just made with Screencastify sitting at the top of my list. But as I said before, these videos are also saved directly to your Google Drive, and you can find them in a folder called Screencastify. Castify very fittingly. So if you find that Screencastify folder, you'll see all the videos that you record in Screencastify are kept right in there. And you can open them and share them just like you could any other Google Doc or file that you store in your Google Drive, which is great. So why bother with the YouTube thing, you might be saying to me, and I understand that. Well, it's because of Google Forms, of course. If you want to ask questions in video format in Google Forms, you're going to have to have a YouTube URL that you can use to add a video to your form. So that's the key with the YouTube thing. So I took that copy URL and I took it into my Google Forms and I clicked on the add video button which hovers kind of over on the right hand side and I pasted that URL in and I added that thing in as a video question and I can drop that in above a question that I'm asking to respond to the video and I can play around with it a little bit to make it look the way I want to but now my kids can go to a form that I've made click on the video and listen to a question that I asked them and then they can use the same process I did to record with Screencastify to respond in the same way to my Google Form question. They can click Add File when they go and click complete the form, go to My Drive, and find that Screencastify folder inside their Google Drive. And they can find the video that they recorded in there with their response. Select it, and then click the Submit button. And now they've sent you a video response to a question that you've asked them, allowing for some more authentic dialogue and conversation in your assessments.